Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Yes, it's quarter past six in the morning. Emily was awake at 5.30, so please spare a thought for us tomorrow morning. Uh, <laughs> I have told... <laughs> it's in the bed, you lizard. <laughs> the, they have been told that Mummy and Daddy will deduct a present from anything that Santa leaves under the tree, depending on how early they're up. So a present for every half an hour that they're up before we want them to be. So, so there you go. There's an incentive to stay in bed in the morning and not wake Mummy and Daddy up too early. <laughs> Although I'll probably up, be up early anyway. You've got a bed. <laughs> No, you, no, you haven't. Oh dear. And also spare a thought for Simon, their daddy, who has them this morning while I'm at work. <laughs> because I don't. And we get to look at our mummy. <laughs> yes. They're going to come into the city centre to pick me up and we're going to have a look at the Christmas lights even though at the time you're picking me up the lights might not be switched on but they'll still look pretty Yeah So Without further ado the last day on all of my advent calendars <laughs> Here's my chocolate Oh, no fighting, girls. No fighting. Yes, yes. I had to wait to the last day for the one chocolate I was looking forward to it's tasting. It's the end of the well. We've finally got it. Oh, it's quite a big chocolate, too. Whoops. Matches the door. It is quite a large one, so I suppose that makes up for the fact that we haven't seen that one all the way through. Yes, it's the one that we've been waiting for all this time. So I hope it tastes good. We've been waiting for it long enough, haven't we? Yeah! Oh dear. And now for my tea. My last tea bag. And this one is Nighty Night, which is an orange infusion. Um, I haven't had the other one of this yet, so I couldn't tell you if I like it. Mm, yeah. Or not. Uh, don't bounce on the sofa, please. And don't blind me with the spotlight. <laughs> <coughs> oh, dear. This next hour until we wake Daddy up is going to be hard work for Mummy. Mm -hmm. And now for the last day of my advent calendar. And some icing sugar. Was there nothing else in there? No. Well, that's a bit what? rubbish for Christmas Eve. She's right. That's really rubbish. I would have expected at least one last stitch marker. Um, but yes, the last ball. I won't be buying one of these again. Um, I'll go into it in more depth in my next podcast, but... I really don't feel I've had my money's worth on this one. So if I do go for an advent calendar next year, I will probably go for one of the hand dies that I've discovered recently. I'll I'm going I plan on buying some yarn from them over the course of the year and decide which one is my favorite and if they do an advent calendar, I'll gauge whether or not I can afford it. And the TV's already going on without being asked. Oh dear. Christmas Eve is quite possibly one of the... Can we not have the volume on while I'm still... Oh dear me. 
I'm so glad I'm at work for the first half of today. <laughs> it's going to be hard work today. <laughs> so we're back from my walk back from town work wasn't too busy thankfully look at my nails Catherine shall I have your nails today yeah I, I painted our nails in all Christmassy colours <laughs> ready for tomorrow yeah. I might nice. paint my nails later when I've got all my jobs done <laughs> so they won't get chipped so now we're home what are we going to do Open our Christmas Eve boxes. Yeah. Alright, okay, so um, I'm going to turn the camera around so we can do that and wait for Daddy because Daddy wants to see them open too. So, what have we got here then, girls? Our oh, Christmas, Christmas Eve, Eve boxes. boxes. And you've been waiting patiently all day yep. to open them. Oh, so you're going to open them then? Take the lid off. bomb in there. Chocolate penguin! They're actually 
two chocolate robins? <laughs> look, Daddy. Oh, oh I've got a book. <laughs> Anna, Elsa and the Secret River. I've got Anna and Elsa and the Secret River. <laughs> So, what do you say for your Christmas Eve boxes? Thank you, Mummy and Daddy. Did Thank you like you, everything in them? Yeah, yeah, absolutely loved it. So, yeah. Catherine, what was your favourite bit? Probably this. Catherine. And this. Catherine, we've both got <laughs> the same lip bar. No. Like this. No. And Emily, what was your favourite thing in your Christmas Eve box? Lip balm. The sparkly lip balm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to get daddies now, aren't we? Yeah. Yes. Right, that's it. Give daddy his Christmas Eve box. Thank you. Oh, so we've got some slipper socks. <laughs> well, you said you needed some daddy. Yes, I did, yes. I... Chocolate. A chocolate Christmas dinosaur. It's Christmassy because it's got a Christmas star in its mouth. And the Karen store. I know. <laughs> okay, thank you, everybody. So this is my Knit Me Sane Christmas Eve box and I have been really good and now it's Christmas Eve so I can open it oh, I can't wait if I can get oh it's a tissue paper I got a box of tissue paper no you haven't <laughs> let's see what's inside also, this is the stock pattern, and it's called Toe Beans, and it's designed by Kirsty Bissett. And they're shorty socks, so they should knit up really quick. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, look at that yarn. <gasps> it's beautiful. I like that colour. Me too, me too, me too. It's called, do you want to know what it's called? Yeah, but it's called Let It Go. So this Look at that. Oh, all the lovely purples. Oh, I can't wait to knit with that. And being shorty socks, I might get two pairs out of that. What else have we got in here? We've got, oh, a really cute little... Christmas tree stitch marker. Mm. Let's take it out of the packet so that we don't get the shine. Ooh, crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. So it's made out of little beads. And this is made by Little Bush Baby Makes. That's really pretty. Snowflake bomb. Drop into hot milk for the perfect hot chocolate. Contains marshmallows and Belgian chocolate. Ooh, I think I know what I'll be doing soon. Having a lovely hot chocolate. And then we've got Christmas spice candle from Little Drops Handmade. And I can smell it from here without taking the lid off, and it smells amazing. I can't smell. Oh, careful, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take the lid off. Oh, oh it smells so really good. Mm. Oh, I love that. That's yeah. going to be that's going to be lit in a minute, so make yeah. it smell all Christmassy. Uh -huh. So I am almost definitely getting next year's <laughs> Knit Me Same Christmas Eve box. This was definitely worth the £40 it cost. Definitely. <laughs> oh, if you could see Siren's face. <laughs> I don't think I told Siren how much this had cost me. <laughs> Oops, busted. 
but this is this is the most beautiful yarn I've ever seen so far. We shall see tomorrow because I'm hoping that Santa's going to bring me some more hand dyed yarn tomorrow. So what are we about to do then, girls? Cut out for the for Santa Oh, so what have we got? What you have it and mince pie and a bit too milk. much milk. Right, so what? So, so who's the carrot for then, Emily? Rudolph. Is it for Rudolph? Yes. He's on there. Okay. And why do we give Santa milk instead of alcohol to drink? You don't remember. Because he loves milk. Well, no, because... And he has to get hand sanitizer. Because he's going to get drunk. That's right, because you can't drink and drive. Or drink and slay. You have to drink in the house. Or drink and fly. Yeah. You can do that, do that if you're on a plane, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, only if you're not the pilot. Yeah. <laughs> and Santa's the pilot of his sleigh. And this is a big chunky carrot. Do you think Rudolph will like that carrot? Yeah. yeah. I thought that one was for Rudolph. It is. Maybe a Rudolph. Rudolph. Maybe Rudolph will share it. Yeah. Or maybe Santa gives each carrot to a reindeer to make it a fair share. Maybe. And if I break in, in lots of slices. Don't break it in lots of slices. Prince and Tickle. But I just want to make it sure. <laughs> oh no no don't shout Emily You're going for me to look Right okay then I think daddy's ready for you Hand sanitizer. <laughs> He's going to need to gel his hands. I'm sure he wears gloves. Uh. <laughs> that's that's In that's case that's he that's didn't. Okay then, girls. What have you got to say to all of the people who have been watching us on our vlogmas? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And have a happy new year. And a happy new year. <laughs> That's right. So we'd better go get your bath time ready, Emily, haven't we? Well, I'm just going to take a couple of minutes while Emily's bath is filling up uh, just to close off my vlogmas. Oh, it's been a bit of a funny day today. Fun of Philip put my teeth in, full of fun and a little bit of stress and lots of jobs to do. We've obviously got the main job to do can't say what that is because ears are listening and um, a little bit of wrapping still to do grandma's presents haven't been wrapped and hopefully I might get an hour for doing a little bit of crochet in as well that would be nice so Christmas for us Grandma comes for the day. She's part of our support bubble, so um, she can spend the day with us without um, us breaking any rules about mixing households. And um, it's a day. F well, the morning is all cooking for me. I I'm the main cook of the family, so I do the the cooking and. Simon does most of the washing up on Christmas Day and um, yes, hopefully Boxing Day is the day I can put my feet up and really do some knitting because it's Boxing Day is Saturday, sock Saturday. Um, it would be really great if I can get my Hermione socks done. Oh, 
<laughs> it'd be great if I can get my Hermione's everyday socks done so that I can start the socks that came in my Knit Me Sane box because they, that yarn is just the most beautiful yarn ever. <laughs> Until I see whatever I've been bought tomorrow. Everybody's seen your pyjamas already, sweetheart. Mummy's just finished. <laughs> so I would like to wish everybody <laughs> a happy Christmas. <laughs> and a fantastic new year and i would just like to extend an extra special thank you to those of you who have been here right from the start and um an extra extra special thank Mommy, you to Sofity 33 yes in a second i'm nearly done an extra special thank you to Sofity 33 who has been amazing support since the start of my journey with my podcast and throughout this vlogmas as well so i will be sending you an email <laughs> when i get hold of my laptop and some time to sit and write an email but i just wanted to extend my thanks here you've been fantastic support and um i will look f i will probably film a podcast sometime next week so look out for that and I shall, I shall say you <laughs> say good Good night and Merry Christmas.